So you may have noticed that a growing trend in the art world is something called resin art. You know those really mesmerizing three-dimensional pieces that have been filling up your Instagram feed? If you know what I'm talking about, chances are you've already dabbled in making some resin art yourself. So today we'll talk about how you can turn your new hobby and favorite craft into a business. Hey, my name is May Pak and I help makers, artists, and designers make a living from selling their handmade products online. Resin art has really boomed in popularity in the last few years. This is largely because of social media and you know, the creation process is pretty hypnotizing to watch and the end results are just stunning. So videos of artists making these pieces can go viral pretty quickly. Social media is not the only reason for the trend though. We can also blame quarantine. Remember when everyone was baking bread or making TikTok videos at the start of lockdown? People were getting super creative with their extra time, but not everyone wants to bake or go viral on TikTok. So some people started to dip their toes into making resin art. Not literally, of course, that would be pretty messy. The resin industry itself is growing rapidly. The epoxy resin market was valued at $5.9 billion in 2019, and it's expected to increase by 7% by 2027. Now that's not all because of just art. Epoxy resin is used in a lot of industries from jewelry to wind power and even aerospace. Yeah, this stuff is pretty intense. But that's why it's actually a great business to delve into. Resin can be used for such a large variety of pieces that your prices can fluctuate quite a bit depending on what you're making. You can make everything from earrings and necklaces to keychains to paintings and furniture. The options are practically limitless and depending on which route you choose to take, you can make quite a profit. Resin furniture, for instance, sells on Etsy for hundreds to thousands of dollars. Of course, furniture is a bit more intensive to make, but that just means you can stick a higher price tag on it. On that note, let's get into the first step to starting a resin business, choosing what you'll actually be making. I know that might seem obvious, but for something like resin art, where you have so many choices, you need to narrow down your specialty. After all, this is what's going to establish your brand and give your business a unique angle, which is so important. And if you're selling everything from coffee tables to crystals to dog tags, well, you know when you go to a restaurant and the menu is like 90 pages long and they have everything from Mexican to Chinese to Italian, it's hard to trust the quality of a restaurant that serves everything, right? Of course, this doesn't mean that you can't sell more than one kind of product. It just means you need to find a focus to center your brand on. This focus, by the way, should be something you have the resources to make. Furniture will be more expensive to create than earrings, for instance, and if your resin art business is a side gig, you won't want to trap yourself into a style that's super time consuming. You also need to look at the market before you make a final decision. You'll want to find a corner of the resin art world that has high demand but little competition. Resin keychains are one of the more saturated markets, so that will be a more competitive route to take. Now I'm not saying you can't make a large profit in that niche, but it will just be more difficult. Housewares like silverware, coasters, or dishes though are a less tapped market with high demand. Still, you'll want to pick something that interests you. Don't go designing cutting boards just because it's less competitive, but also because that's something you really enjoy doing. Think about your own interests and ask yourself if there's a market there for themed resin art. For example, if you're really into romance, ask yourself what a romance-based market looks like. How can you combine your interest with customer demand? Well, the wedding industry is huge, right? You could make sentimental gifts like flower resin bookmarks using a couple's wedding flowers or heart-shaped resin dishes. Once you know what you're going to make, start building your inventory. It's exciting to start a new business, so I get that a lot of artists want to dig in right away, but you want to be careful about how much stock you start off with. While you want to keep up with demand, you also want to get a good feel for which of your products customers are actually buying. And a lot of the time, it's not even the piece that you expected, that you made the most of in anticipation. So start with 10 to 15 ready to sell pieces and soon you'll have an idea of what you should be making more of. Of course, before you establish your inventory, you gotta practice, right? You need to be competitive, so you need to have quality products that you know customers will love. And the more you practice, the better your art will be. 
The better your art is, the more customers you will draw in and at better prices. To really stand out in the resin industry, your work needs to be really top level. So keep practicing until you've established a large enough inventory at a high enough level to start selling. Now let's talk supplies. With resin, your specific supplies will depend on the niche you choose. So if you choose furniture or flowers or 3D paintings, you will require different materials. But if you're just getting started and you're still not ex sure what exactly you want to make, there are some inexpensive resin starter kits for making jewelry or 3D paintings. And you can find those on Amazon or at craft supply stores like Michael's. These kits will give you a good feel for what style of art you like the most. But if a kit is not right for you, you can collect the individual materials you need in art stores and even hardware stores. Regardless of the style you're making, pretty much every resin artist will need casting resin, mixing cups, stirring utensils, wax paper, molds, and mold release. Before you get started, you do need to make sure you have a flat surface to work on and are wearing safety equipment like gloves and protective glasses because Remember, resins are chemicals, so you gotta make sure you play safely, right? The fumes can get intense, and the last thing you want is to seriously hurt yourself while you're trying to make some great art. Optional but highly recommended supplies include a heat gun to remove bubbles, or if you are really a daredevil, then you can try a torch and resin colorants to make that bright and vibrant look that makes resin art so mesmerizing. Now, because you'll be working with chemicals, I highly recommend watching some tutorials about how to work with resin and pick up some books on the subject before you begin. This is as much a science as it is an art, so make sure you're just as prepared as possible before you get started. So you've got your supplies, you've done your research, and you've established a starter inventory that you are happy with. Now it's time to set up your shop. I recommend starting with Shopify because on Shopify, you will be in total control of your site instead of forcing your shop within the confines of another marketplace's rules and regulations. On Shopify, you'll have access to a very user-friendly site for you and your customers, a lot of really great features to make sales to make making sales super easy, and other great resources aimed at helping your business thrive. Not to mention, you won't have to share a percentage of your sales. Of course, marketplace sites like Etsy and Amazon are popular among new artists because they're easy to use and they have those you, they have that built-in audience of customers. So if this feels better to you, go for it. Just know that as your business grows, you will want to branch out to your own site when you get tired of sharing those profits and being trapped in someone else's rules and regulations. Not to mention, these sites are extremely competitive, so it can be harder for your product to rise in the ranks. I highly recommend that if you do choose to go the Etsy route, just make sure you're selling your product on a site of your own also. That way you aren't solely relying on a third-party marketplace site for your income. Now you'll want to market your products so you can actually start making sales. While marketing through social media posts is a popular way to promote your products, I actually don't recommend them as your primary source of marketing. When I started my shop, I spent a long time trying to grow my business through just social media organic postings alone, and it was just moving really slowly, and that is true today as well. It wasn't until I started focusing on media outreach that I really started seeing those sales start coming in. When you can get your product in front of a large audience, you'll see that building a loyal customer base is easier than ever. That's because when your resin art is featured on a celebrity's Instagram or even on a TV show or a magazine, it becomes so much more desirable, right? When a person sees someone they trust and admire using a product they've never heard of, it becomes personal and much more desirable than seeing a business owner post a regular Facebook or Instagram post that they've put on their newsfeed. If you're just starting out, look out for micro influencers that have around like 10,000 to 20,000 followers and make sure they have good engagement of an average around 1,000 likes and comments combined per post. These micro influencers are far more approachable and they love getting cool products, especially if it's something that's right up their alley. So reach out and offer them a free product and maybe even a discount code in exchange for a feature. This could lead to a ton of huge success if you do it right and you do it consistently. Because when that influencer's followers start buying and spreading the word about your product, 
you'll find that maybe even bigger influencers might want to step in and help promote your products as well. This is how I establish my business and it really is like a domino effect. To learn more about building a successful art business, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you're an artist that's taken an interest in the latest resin art trends. And then stay on to watch the next video on the screen here. And thanks so much for watching.